Cheers. How's it going? Today I'm going to be making a coffee with my Snow Peak Titanium Cafe Press. This is uh, made of titanium, it's a very nice little thing. It's really handy because you can just put the uh, water straight in and boil the water straight away and then add your coffee later. It comes with a really nice little pouch as well, which is super nice. Protects it when it's in your bag. The Snow Peak logo on it as well. And then on the actual mug itself, it's got really nice uh, cut marks and some nice handles. And I'm gonna be using my uh, new Giga Power Stove. Uh, so my colleague picked this up from me from Japan. She's just been over there. So I'm really looking forward to using this. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So the Snow Peak stoves come in these really nice white storage containers, just so they're protected. And uh, I chose the one that has the self-igniting bit on. Obviously with the Snow Peak logo there. And then this is the little igniter. Water's boiling very quickly, which is good. And as soon as the water finishes boiling, I'm just gonna pull it off and yeah, get out my coffee. So I've just turned off the fuel. Water's now boiling, it actually says, just before boil. So that's very hot to the touch. So I'm gonna use my coaster to just lift it off. Just adding a couple of scoops of coffee. It's just stirring that in. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit. So it's about three to four minutes. This has got this sort of like very fine mesh uh, just to prevent you getting any coffee grounds. So it hugs the sides of the walls, which is really useful. So whilst that's on, just getting ready, I'm just letting it sit for a bit. I am just thought I'd show you the vacuum Snow Peak stainless mug that I'm gonna use. What's great about this is it's, uh, so the vacuum seal sort of like sucks all the air out in between the double, so it's double walled. And um, it just keeps the drink like super 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 warm for a very very long time um i guess there are pros and cons to that if you're at camp and you want to wake up make your coffee leave straight away i'll probably go for a more single ward option but because i'm at home today just working 
I'll be using this mug uh, and it will just keep my coffee warm for like the whole day, which is really useful. This is the box for the uh, Giga power stove. So it does have an igniter. As you see, I didn't really use it uh, when I was stoking up mine. I just found it a bit tricky to start up. But um, off camera, I just tried it again and it's, uh, it's a lot easier. So that's my timer for the coffee. So let's see how, let's see if we plunge this, see how easy it is to plunge. Coffee now, the side of the walls are still really hot. But ooh. as you can see, I just got a little bit of spillage, which isn't great. So I just have to go a lot slower. Perhaps I filled it up with a bit. No, that's fine. It's plunging a lot easier now, which is great. Perfect. Now it's time to pour it into the mug. I would say that the, the lip of the lip the lip of the French press is quite small so uh, you've sort of got to pour it quite slowly So after using the Titanium Cafe Press from Snow Peak, I'd say uh, it's super lightweight, super great if you're into French press, you know, if you've got a French press at home. Um, it has some of the similar drawbacks that a French press at home would do. I mean, I think I might have filled mine quite high and then as soon as I started plunging, the, the liquid just sort of started spilling out, uh, which wasn't great. Uh, and then also the spout is very small, which is another drawback. But I don't think that uh, it's that much of an issue. And I guess it gets a good seal, keeps the coffee there sort of slightly warmer. I'd say this product is perhaps more of a, you know, relaxed coffee in the morning type thing. I mean, but then again, it's probably faster uh, than drip coffee. Um, I think overall just the design is really good and also I guess you can use what the, the joy of it is you can heat the water up in the French press and you could always use that for other liquids uh, it's not limited to just being a sole you know coffee use uh, I mean you could cook food in it but I, I'd recommend probably just sticking to coffee um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I can make more videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.